day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello there neighbors. It is good to see you this week. Hey there Joan. Joan is up to her old habit of reading from the Bible. Today she is reading a story about our ancestor, Abram. Abram's name is going to change to Abraham. You might remember that Sometimes we sing a silly song about Father Abraham and how many kids he had. But the story today takes place way before he had any kids and he was setting out on a long, long journey. Have any of you ever gone on a long trip before? A long journey? If you have, then you know that you need certain things for a trip. You need a sturdy, sturdy bag to store your things. You need a tent so you don't have to sleep outside. Let's see if we can get it in there. Oh yeah, perfect. You need some clothes to keep you warm. And most important, you need food so that you don't have to be hungry. Pack them all up. Oh, it's a pretty full bag. Well, you need all of those things, but on a journey, on a real long journey, you need some other stuff. Stuff you can't always see or touch. And you might need some things that only God could help you with. When you're going on a long, long journey, or if you're getting ready for a school year, then you need courage. So that when you feel scared, you can be brave. You need companions, like Joan here is my friend, so that when I feel scared, she helps me be brave. And she also reminds me to be my best self. You need curiosity, so that when you come to a strange place full of strange sounds and smells and people you don't know, you can try to ask some questions instead of feeling anxious. You need a positive attitude so that you can enjoy the journey even when you get a little bit lost. You need resilience so that you can bounce back even if you fall down. But most of all, more than any of those things, more than anything in this big, big bag, when we're on a long journey, we need to remember that God loves us and that there is nothing, nothing, nothing and nowhere, nowhere in the highest of mountains or the deepest part of the sea, nowhere we can go where God's love cannot reach us. God always goes with us. And that love, well, that love can take us anywhere. Neighbor, it was good to be with you this week. I hope you remember that God's love goes with you. And I hope you remember to be kind. See you next week.